Hello. Uh, my name is Dr. Andrea Holmes. Um, A N D R E A H O L M E S. And um, I am pro cannabis, and um, but I'm opposing this particular um, bill. And I'm here um, in the capacity of multiple facets. Uh, first of all, I am the director of cannabis studies at Doan University. I'm also a professor of chemistry there. I build cannabis programs for multiple institutions across the country. I build a company, a cannabis company in uh, Denver, Colorado. I have one here in, uh, in Nebraska. And I'm also a chief um, science officer at CBD Remedies. Um, uh, and Adam just spoke to that effect. And in that capacity, I would like to express my opposition to this bill, and I would like to explain to you why. I find it quite restrictive. While I do appreciate that there's some verbiage in there of some type of medical um, cannabis program, it's just simply too restrictive in various ways. The first way is the economic and the commercial restriction. I personally would not really want to jump into Nebraska and invest a bunch of money, business money, and you know, with a bill like this, I find it very uh, limiting and restrictive um, and for, for opening a, a cannabis company. Second of all, I also believe it's restrictive with regards to the products that are allowed in there. Um, cannabis products have all kinds of different um, delivery mechanisms, and everybody has a different way of wanting to consume cannabis. Some Smoking, some people prefer eating, some people prefer inhaling by vaporization, and not everybody is the same. Everybody has a different way of um, consuming cannabis, and that has to be respected and acknowledged. Um, also, what's restrictive is who has access to um, marijuana. Um, my partner, Dr. Amanda McKinney, who um, testified two years ago in, um, for, um, for the medical um, bill, and I, we run a program called um, Mass with Doctors at CBD Remedies, and we have people come in from all walks of life, all ages, different genders, different conditions. They have all kinds of conditions. They suffer of pain, stress, mood disorders, and these people are not served by this bill. Um, and finally, the dosing is also an issue. It's too restrictive in terms of dosing because, once again, all of you guys are different. Everybody needs different dosing, and that has to, it has to be based on a very informed decision and not just the percentage that's being proposed in this bill. Finally, I'd like to say that the people in Nebraska, they are ready for a flourishing, modern, progressive, reasonably regulated, and safe cannabis program. My cannabis studies program at the University has over 20,000 students registered. Many of them come from Nebraska. That shows you how hungry people are to enter into this industry, to get jobs, and to find knowledge in medical cannabis. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Dr. I do not see the questions raised today, but thanks for being here.